So in this scenario, okay, as the controller, we want to schedule a monthly journal entry to post rent. Now this could be anything. It could be rent, it could be payroll, etc. But you want the system to automatically remind you when your rent should be posted, right? So let's go back. And we're going to go back into our finance module here. And we're going to go into recurring postings. OK? So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to create something. Uh, we're going to call it rent. Our code is going to be rent2. And description is uh, office rent. Right. You can even put your contract number in the reference field here. Let's just say it's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then under the GL um, code here, what we're going to do is put in our bank account. So, for example, um, let's uh, select our cash at bank checking account here. And let's just say our rent is four thousand dollars. Okay. And the offsetting account, for example, is going to be our vendor, which is called Golden Rental Properties. So again, here's the tip and trick. I put my cursor in here and I do control tab to select my business partners. Okay. And I've got a business partner called Golden Rental Properties. That's my vendor. If I click in this field, the debit field is automatically going to put the amount to four thousand um, dollars. Now, at the bottom of your screen here is the frequency. So we can set this frequency to be monthly, daily, weekly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually. It could be a one-time. Okay, but in our particular scenario, we pay rent every month on the seventeenth, right? So the next execution date. For example, by default will be today, August 17th. But you can also override that, and you can make it uh, maybe September 17th. We can also enter a valid until date. So let's say our contract, our rental contract, is till the end of the year, till December uh, 17th. So we can do that there. Okay. So what's going to happen is this recurring posting is going to automatically cease to occur on this date. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's add this. Okay. So now that we've got a reoccurring posting in the system, okay, we know what's going to happen on the 17th of, of August. What's going to happen is every time or when you log in to SAP, you're automatically going to receive a pop-up message, an alert, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up a second session of SAP Business One. Let's just log in again. And let me just illustrate that pop-up for you. Okay, so now what you see on your screen, as soon as you log in, you've got this really great reminder that says, hey, your rent, your office rent is due today. What do you want to do? Okay, now, if you want to pay it today, you just simply highlight that row and you say execute. But you also have the opportunity to still drill into this particular uh, recurring posting and if you want you can actually modify that okay for whatever reason okay but we're happy with it we like the amount we're gonna keep the amount so we're just gonna go ahead and execute this okay now you're gonna get a warning save postings to permanent file do you want to continue and add sure go ahead okay so what's going to happen is if I were to go into my journal entry screen, you can see that. Go to the last one here, and you can see we've credited our bank by $4,000, and we've debited Golden Rental Properties by $4,000 as well. Okay? And that's going to keep going on every month until December 17th. 
So again, uh, what you can do is if you want, go back to your banking, outgoing payments, and if you want to see that outgoing payment, let's pull up our business partner, Golden Rental Properties, and you can see here's the journal entry. Again, close the loop, go to our money bag, remember our tip, control B to transfer that amount, we say OK, and we add, and just like that, you'll see now the balance is zero. We've paid it off.